Hi, and welcome back. I'll take you through this lesson on Data Analytics Overview. In this lesson, you'll learn the steps in the analytic process, the skills and tools required, the challenges that you'll face in the data analytics process, the exploratory data analysis or EDA technique, data visualization techniques, and the use of hypothesis testing to analyze data. Today, we have access to a lot of data, but unless we know what to do with it, it won't be of any help to us. Let's take an example of a fictional bank statement to understand this. A bank statement usually lists every single transaction, either a deposit or a withdrawal, along with the balance amount left in the account, as shown here. Though the statement is highly descriptive and is a good source of information, it doesn't show you the spending or saving patterns of the user. But the moment you present the same data as a line chart, you can easily spot the overall transaction pattern. If you compare this pattern over a period of three months, you can also spot if there is a shift from the regular pattern. Here, you can see that there is an unusual spike in the spinning pattern of the user between the 24th and 26th of April. This kind of data analysis is what alerts banks to instances of identity theft or fraud. For e-commerce websites, Analyzing buying patterns of users can help them understand what kind of customers are more likely to buy a certain type of product. This is how data analysis makes your data work for you. A bank statement is an example of a highly structured data set. Most data sets that you would have to work with will not be so structured. You will have to clean it up before you could use it in any constructive way. That's why data analytics involves a combination of processes to help you extract information from these data sets. Along with domain knowledge, you'll need programming, mathematical, and statistical skills to arrive at a decision-making process with the help of data. Data analytics is a step-by-step -step process to reach a conclusion. Let's look at these steps briefly. The first step in the process is to ask questions to identify the business problem. The next step is data acquisition, or collecting data sets related to the business problem or question from the real world. The third step comprises data wrangling, with data tools and modern technologies that include data cleansing and data manipulation. The next step is exploratory data analysis, or EDA, with mathematical or graphical output to aid data analysis. Data exploration is the next step that discovers data and identifies patterns in data. The next step is to draw conclusions and make predictions by creating training models for machine learning. This step uses a lot of mathematical or statistical functions. The last step is communication or data visualization to present the analysis work. Let's now look at each step in detail. The process of analytics mostly begins with questions or business problems of stakeholders. Here are a few examples of questions. Who are my customers? Why are my sales going down? How do I manage my inventory? Why is my system not scaling up with increasing traffic volume? Such business problems usually trigger the need to analyze data and answer the questions raised. This leads us to the next step. To answer the question or to address the business problem raised in step one, the next step is for you to gather or collect data. This process is known as data acquisition. The main task is to collect relevant data associated with the problem. The data could be residing elsewhere. A data scientist has to use database skills to fetch the data from databases. Expertise with file handling and ability to deal with different file formats is an important skill to download and analyze the data. Web scraping is a popular way to extract information from the web. A lot of information sites provide streaming APIs, such as Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and other major social media and information companies. The server logs can also be extracted from enterprise system servers to analyze the application performance and optimize the overall process. Data wrangling and exploration is one of the most important phases of the data analytics process. This phase includes data cleansing, data manipulation, data discovery, and data pattern identification. Usually, data is neither in the expected format 
nor is it consistent. The data cleansing process gets rid of unwanted elements present in the data. Data manipulation techniques, such as transform, merge, aggregate, group by, and reshape, transform the data and make it available for exploratory data analysis. Data exploration uses all the available data and presents it in either a numerical or graphical format. This helps to identify the right patterns in the data. The data and the underlying pattern are fed into appropriate machine learning models, leading directly to the prediction and conclusion phase. Data wrangling by far is the most challenging phase and consumes 70% of the data scientist's time. Let's look at some of the reasons that cause these challenges. Unexpected data format. A format that is new and inconsistent data creates more preparation work. Erroneous data. Data contains lots of errors and unwanted values that have to be cleansed. Manipulate and prepare data. Manipulate voluminous data using data wrangling techniques and tools and make it ready for analysis. Understand structure of data. Understand how the data is organized in the first place, linear or cluster. Plot them if possible. Determine relationship of variables. Observation, feature, and response are keys and relationship between them must be determined. It's difficult to determine this relationship. Choose appropriate models. Model selection is based on the overall data analysis process to draw conclusions and make accurate predictions. Selection should be accurate or it will lead to a lot of iterations and a waste of time. Identifying the right patterns and applying the right algorithm is critical. The hypothesis building and hypothesis testing process together lead to appropriate model selection. Mathematical and statistical functions have to be carefully built for the model chosen. There are some popular graphical techniques used to depict data. Histogram is very popular. The purpose of a histogram or bins is to graphically summarize the distribution of a univariate data set. It shows the center or location of data, the spread or scale of data, the skewness of data, the presence of outliers, the presence of multiple modes in the data. Another popular technique is scatterplot. A scatterplot represents relationships between two variables. A scatterplot can answer these questions visually. Are variables X and Y related? Are variables X and Y linearly related? Are variables X and Y nonlinearly related? Does change in variation of Y depend on X? Are there outliers? Hypothesis is used in research and analytics to understand the relationship between dependent and independent variables. Hypothesis building can begin in the data exploration stage, but it becomes more mature and perfect in the conclusion and predict phase. Hypotheses are testable explanations of a problem or observation. Formulating a hypothesis is used for both quantitative and qualitative analysis to address a research problem. Hypotheses that suggest a casual relationship involve at least one independent and dependent variable. In other words, one variable which is presumed to affect the other. For example, holiday season in the year increases traffic and purchases on the website. An independent variable is one whose value is manipulated by the researcher or data scientist. A dependent variable is a variable whose values are presumed to change as a result of the changes in the independent variable. Let's now look at hypothesis building using feature engineering. Hypothesis building, a way to design models and predict the unknown, can be done using feature engineering. This includes identifying meaningful features based on data domain knowledge, automatically constructing new features from the raw data based on domain expertise, constructing new features manually from raw data based on domain expertise. Hypothesis building using a model has three phases. The first phase is model building, which comprises identifying the best input variables for the model, judging if the model can predict the outcome for the given input. The second phase is model evaluation. It's a phase in which you train and test the model, 
changing different parameters used in the model aiming for accuracy. This is also the phase where the performance is optimized for the following. Model accuracy, model performance, model comparisons. The third phase is model deployment. In this phase, you have finished selecting the model you will use to solve the business problem. The output of the model will help you take better decisions through model prediction, model matching, or actual outcome meets the expectations. Population is a large data set and samples are a part of it. A sample drawn from a population should have all the main attributes or features which represents the characteristics of the population. An ideal sample can be treated as the population itself and the hypothesis outcome for a sample would hold true for the entire population. In the example displayed here, two samples are drawn from the population of a large data set. Each sample has a mean. The process of calculating the difference between the means is known as hypothesis testing. Two kinds of hypothesis can be made initially. Alternative hypothesis. This hypothesis indicates that the proposed model outcome is accurate and fits the data. There is a difference between sample data S1 and S2. Null hypothesis. This hypothesis is the logical opposite of the alternative hypothesis and does not support the proposed model. It suggests that there is no difference between sample S1 and S2. The process of hypothesis testing begins by dividing a big data set into training and test data sets, irrespective of the size of the data set. This is one of the best techniques to design an accurate model. The training data set is used to build a new proposed model. It makes use of the available features and responses of the data sample. The test data set is used to test the proposed model. The test data set acts as new unseen data. The null hypothesis that was formulated will be proven right when the proposed model does not predict better than the existing model. The alternative hypothesis will be proven right if the proposed model predicts better than the existing model. Typically, the training dataset size is anywhere between 60 and 80 percent of the big dataset, and the test dataset ranges between 20 and 40 percent of the big dataset. The last step is communication where the analyzed data is formally presented to stakeholders. Use of several data visualization techniques make the communication effective. Data analysis can be presented in various forms, such as visual graphs, plotting maps, creating reports, writing a white paper, or even through a PowerPoint presentation. Data visualization techniques are used for graphical representation of data and are powerful tools for effective communication. Following are the main benefits of data visualization. Simplifies complex quantitative information. Identifies the relationship between data points and variables. Identifies patterns in data. Establishes trends present in the data and guides the analysis process. Here are some examples where data visualization can be applied. If you want to present information about new and existing customers and their behavior when they access your website. If you want to see web traffic patterns for the website, for example, more activity on the website in the morning than in the evening. Let's now look at plotting, another effective data visualization technique. Plotting is a data visualization technique used to represent underlying data through graphics. This is used often in data analytics. It can be understood as a coordinate system like x-axis and y-axis that represent variables, and you can mark your data based on the data set and a mathematical equation. The process of plotting is also like telling the story about your data through different colors, shapes, and sizes. You can also show the relationship between variables through plotting. For example, the value of x changes if the value of y changes. Based on this information, the visual or graph changes. Similarly, you can show that one variable is independent of the other variable. There are several types of plotting techniques that can be used to visualize data. The choice of plot depends on the kind of data you are dealing with. Sometimes, more than one plot is used to develop a better understanding of the data. 
When there is a new data feed or you have not worked with such data before, you can use more than one plot. Following are a few high-level plot selection techniques. If the data is continuous, histogram, line chart, regression plot. If the data is categorical in nature or you need to identify patterns in the data, scatter plot, cluster map, heat map. An important point to note is that the data analytics process is an iterative one. This means that during every step of the process, you have to check the original question or intent to ensure that the analysis is on the right track. At the end of the process, you should be able to answer the question or solve the problem through data analysis by retracting the steps scientifically. Here are the skills and tools required for each step of the data analytics process. Question or business problem. Ability to ask relevant questions and understand the problem. Domain knowledge or substantive expertise. Passionate about data. Analytical approach. Data acquisition. Beautiful soup for web scraping. CSV or other file knowledge. NumPy. Pandas. Database. Data wrangling. CSV or other file knowledge. NumPy, Pandas, Database, SciPy. Data exploration. NumPy, SciPy, Pandas, Matplotlib. Conclusions or predictions. Scikit-learn, the main machine learning library. CSV or other file knowledge. NumPy. Pandas, Database, SciPy. Communication or Data Visualization. Pandas, Database, Matplotlib, PPT, CSV or other file knowledge. Let's now look at some of the challenges of the data analytics process. Let's now quickly recap what we've learned in the lesson. Data analytics is a process that will answer a question or solve a business problem. There are a number of skills and tools required to carry out data analytics successfully. The data analytics process is challenging in the data wrangling, data exploration, and model selection phases. Exploratory data analysis includes quantitative and graphical techniques. Data visualization techniques communicate data characteristics and patterns effectively. Hypothesis testing is used in research and analytics to understand the relationship between dependent and independent variables. This concludes the lesson, Data Analytics Overview. The next lesson will discuss statistical concepts and business applications.